what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Kentucky police detective allegedly offered to take a sexual assault victim home, but instead took her to a motel and raped her again. John Nesson of Hillview Police Department was indicted on charges for official misconduct, tampering with a witness, and theft by deception in connection to a September 2017 incident. The victim came in contact with Nesson while at the police department to report a rape. Nesson agreed to take her home, and then he allegedly left the police department and actually drove her to the home of her alleged perpetrator. From there, he drove the woman to a Brooks motel where he allegedly raped her. The woman claimed he also tried to persuade her to not pursue her case with the other alleged perpetrator. The misconduct claims reportedly surfaced as its own department investigated the initial rape report. Nesson was suspended from the police force and both cases were given to the Kentucky State Police to handle. He's doing court on Monday. Here's what I want to know. How is it that he's not being charged with rape? I don't understand that. Somebody let me know. If you're an attorney, if you are just somebody with any type of experience out there, prosecutor, whatever, let me know. How is it that he's not being charged with rape? This guy, you know. He has done more than what he's being accused of. Look at him. That is a very creepy looking dude. Guarantee you, if you dig into his records, not his, dig into his past, you're going to see some other stuff. Hell, you can dig into his records too. I bet you they got other stuff on him. Guarantee, go talk to some of the people that grew up with him. Talk to his mom and daddy. Hell, they probably taught him to be that way. That's cold-blooded, man. How do you live with yourself? You see, I can guarantee you that he was banking on, I'm going to rape her, and she's not going to say anything because, number one, she's afraid. Number two, she has already been raped, and she's broken, and she's vulnerable. She's not going to say anything. I can get away with this. And I bet you a dollar to a donut that that woman was poor. Because members of law enforcement prey on the poor. Because they know that they have very little resources to defend themselves. Look around. Most of these cases where the police are treating people bad, they're in poor neighborhoods, and these cops, before they even get to the force, before they get to the academy, they're looking forward to coming to the hood so that they can crack some heads, rob people, steal, beat up people with impunity. This is their M.O., and it's not a rare case. It's not a few bad apples. The whole damn barrel is full of rotten apples. The tree itself is rotten. The law enforcement tree is rotten. That's why you see all of this criminal behavior. That's why it's so hard to determine a common criminal from a blue criminal. I think I might need to coin that phrase, blue criminal. I like that. Y'all hold, hold me to that. I think I got a coin there. I just look that up. Blue criminals. That's what they are. It's the same thing when they take advantage of rape victims. It's the same thing when dudes seek out women who have been abused. Women, have, they, they figure like if a woman has already been used to getting beat up, then if I beat her up, it ain't going to be that big of a deal. She's not going to expose me. 
uh, she's used to being violated in that manner. So I don't really have to worry about anything. This is their thinking. This is the way they operate. How low down do you have to be to rape a woman, somebody that's coming to you for help? Very low down. The woman was violated and she went to this clown, this subhuman for help. And he violated her in the same manner that she was initially violated. That's lower than low, man. There's a special place in hell for that sucker. Damn, that's low. Man, we have some very despicable, just disgusting people in this country. And many of them wear blue uniforms. Sickening. Just sickening. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.